Hey guys, it's Wads with the Wads Up channel. Thanks for joining me. So today we're in the Wads garage. Check out my garage. <laughs> and uh, we're getting the FE501 already. And uh, what are we getting her ready for? Well, we're going on a little road trip. And we're going up to Porto Cove. And all this gear you see here, we're gonna load up onto the FE501. So while we get the Husqvarna loaded up with adventure gear, it's pronounced in Durastan, not Durastan. I think I was just a little excited to go enduro riding. But more important, this episode is for you hardcore enthusiasts and enduro and dual sport and adventurists who are planning their next getaway and want to haul a lot of gear and do it in style. If you watch my bag review on this enduro stand, uh, Sandstorm 4H, you'll notice that they have a smaller one that's really, really compact and low profile and gets way up front as well. Their buckles do a nice job of securing everything. One of the things that drew me to this bag was the shape. It reminds me of something you'd keep like a firearm in or something. You know, it's got this, it's got this uh, a little bit of a triangle shape to it, but it contours the bike really nicely um, as opposed to this something thrown over the bike. Or it, was, it just looks like a sleeping bag. Or, you know, or remember from the Wild West where, where, where the guy would be thrown over the back of the horse and the guy would be riding the horse and, and he'd have someone thrown over the back of the horse? Well, I thought that some of the other systems look like that. That's just me, but I like this was more contoured. That's my point. So I wouldn't be putting anything on the back of the bike unless you reinforce it. Uh, I wouldn't put anything in there that's more than about three or four pounds. See what I mean there, eh? Just wow, wow, wow. So good quality straps. Quickly tee up the uh, fender bag. So we did the tail bag. Look at this little job, eh? It is quality stuff. I'll just let you have a look. I don't even pick that up, but really nice pinning here. Nice little mesh little spot. You know, if you wanted to I don't know, put a jam a tube in there or a map, you know, all our stuff. Like I looked at a lot, a lot of gear, right? A lot of luggage, soft luggage. And quite literally, this was the best stuff I could find. And I thought it was the best looking too. So, you know, all their bags, they have this roll design, right? And it is waterproof. All right, nice straps, nice material. Like if you went down super hard you, at all of the all of their luggage you look at, it doesn't look like like it looks like it would it would stand up to a bit of a crash, right? Like obviously if you're sliding down the highway, that's a different story. But you know if you you if you get into a little bit of a situation in the bush, you know, mud and gravel and dirt, you know, it's going to last. It's durable, right? So I really like that. I want my gear to last. So they just have these little clips that go around the fenders. Yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. Pretty easy to mount it. And they have these little elastic bands or strap elastic so you can, you know, for you OCD guys, you can just tuck it away. Real big fan of straps flapping around. So I like that. We're on to our main luggage systems. Tornado, tornado, tomato, tomato. All about giving yourself enough room to be able to sit. Because I've put it up there, I'm barely gonna fit in here, right? Can I fit in there? I think so, it's gonna be a tight fit. Should I, do I dare to try and even sit on it right now? Sketchy. Does that work? All right, I can do that. So I mounted down here, okay, with the rock strap and uh, these little channels to pull your straps and keep everything organized so they don't slowly make them make their way off the bag. Something about loading your bike up with all this gear, hitting the road. Pretty cool. 
the advantages to this system, it's all compartmentalized. Try and say that five times. So if I need to get to my if I need to get to my camping gear, or my tent and stuff, it's in this bag. If I need to get my clothes, in that bag. If I need to get to my electronics, in that bag. We're gonna double up, I just did it. We got the Gerber machete. We got the Blizzard medium panniers. We got the Enduro's Den large tornado. And the medium tornado on top. And we got the Sandstorm H tank bag. Hey, can't leave these guys out. We got the fender bag. Yeah. And we got the tail bag too. Beauty. We even got the sandals all in there. We can't leave our Henry repeating arms hat at home for these camping trips. We gotta bring those along. We've, we're even bringing some fuel. A kokini check. Paper for fire check. All right. 25 years ago, I came here for my, uh, what's it called, your paddy scuba diving uh, license test. And it was like a cold November day. Yeah, this is where we did the test. I haven't, I haven't been out to this little area here since that day. So this is pretty special. These bad boys out right on the water, eh? They're nice. Am I say a? Hey, I feel like just such a typical Canadian. <laughs> you gotta embrace your sayings. There she is. I am so happy with this spot. <laughs> we got the uh, FE501. And uh, we've got a bunch of Enduro stand luggage on her, as you can see. In fact, we've got seven pieces of luggage. The way you guys see it right now, I've got over a hundred liters of storage, so it's fantastic. I've got everything from firewood to camera gear to tents, pads. Like I, I got everything. Alrighty, so uh, these are the Enduro stand Blizzard mediums, um, and they're really nice. Why I chose the Blizzard mediums is uh, well, they come in three sizes is small medium large um, the for me I went for the medium because I was looking for something that was really tight to the bike um, so I didn't want it coming out too far uh, so this this is kind of a nice middle of the ground compromise but they do make a uh, size up from this that's uh, quite a bit bigger um, and in this configuration you'll see that I've got I'm stacking two bags so on the on the bottom layer I got um, large and then on the top here is a medium try to compartmentalize everything um, on on this side here, that's all sleeping gear. On the right side, uh, that's cooking. This is clothes. Um, and this is kind of utilitarian stuff like tripod, camera gear. I even put a little bit of wood in it, if you can believe it, right? Because it's a ton of space on this bike. Uh, I probably could have got by with losing the top um, tornado in the medium. Lose that and just go with um, panniers and a uh, large tornado. Um, but I wanted to do a maximum configuration so we could see just how much luggage I could get on the bike with Enduro Stand for the longer trips, you know, for the for the week-long trip, right? Or, you know, the Moab trip or down to Utah, right? Um, so I think this is this is gonna get her done. Um, I like the Enduro Stand because it's waterproof um, and you don't have to put another bag on top of a bag to make it waterproof. That was one of the reasons uh, I picked Enduro Stand because of the, the quality of the fabric. You gotta get two rolls into it and then snap it all together and that keeps everything out. I've had it in some really heavy rain. Uh, that rain ain't getting in, um, so that's nice. The material is top-notch, right? Even you can even see in the seaming, it's you know it's got this you know welded seaming and, and pinstriping. It's this you know the, the the devil's in the details, and you can see that they put a great deal of attention into the details. Um, and it's affordable price, uh, you know, because this stuff can get expensive. What's nice about these bags is it has a MSR bottle uh, holder so you can put some additional fuel um, on both sides. So that's kind of nice being able to have some spare fuel. Can you guys see that 
Those are climbing anchors. You know, they're uh, five dollar climbing anchors. Um, and I just attached them to the frame so I could get a solid uh, cinch point. In terms of the setup, uh, I just went to the frame there. So that, that works good. It's got a little, uh, these, these have like a cam system. Um, so you can get a lot of tension into those. And they're, they're super secure. They're not going anywhere. A couple things I want to point out that I like about the blizzards is they've got these uh, buckles. Um, so first of all, you, you put two rolls into the top close it down so water doesn't get in and you've got a buckle here you get a buckle here you, you know cinch those down and then on the side here you can cinch those down and once that's all done the uh, the bags really tight to the bike you got these little litters you can tuck things into for the straps and stuff so that's kind of nice uh, this is the sandstorm 4h it's packed full of well i'll be honest with you there's a there's four beers and two ginger ales in there <laughs> and uh, uh, a knife and uh, I'll, I'll go through it, but it's packed. On the back here, that's your uh, tail bag, your fender bag. And that holds a lot, but you know, I keep things really light in this area because there is like next to no integrity with this dirt bike fender. So I don't want to put more than two or three pounds on that back there. And then the front, the front fender bags, you know, that's just for a toe strap and a, a pump. Um, you can put a tube in there too. And you've got a little mesh area there. That's kind of nice. Anyways, I'm going to dive in so you guys can see how much stuff I actually got in these bags. Because I think you're going to be blown away when you see how much stuff I actually crammed into these, you know, all these bags, right? It's kindling, rain gear, the clothing, the stove. Probably only 75% full. So I got wood, all my clothes, a book, a stove, and rain gear in there. So that's in the Enduro Stand Tornado Medium. This bag has all the good stuff. We have Pringles. We have beer. We have water. We have bear spray. MSR tent. Bowls. Everybody should have one of these. This is a Fugu tunes. Waterproof, dustproof, a blanket. See the difference in width. Inside these bags, they have, you know, a little cargo, a little, uh, little pocket. But it's pretty utilitarian. Like they don't have a lot of pockets, right? It's that one pocket inside both bags. That's my jump starter kit, tire repair kit. It's also a charger kit uh, for all my electronics. I'll put a link. Actually, I did a review on this. So if you look in my gear and my gadgets uh, playlist, you'll see a review on, uh, it's called the um, Pro Power Volt um, Jump Starter Kit. So this is Bomber. The uh, Oxford Boss Alarm Disc Lock. Uh, it's got this super high decibel alarm. If you move the bike, this thing goes off. Oh yeah. I did a review on this as well. This is the Enduro Stand, uh, uh, I don't know, tool pack kit. Look at that, right? This is the Helinox Lightweight Outdoor Adventure Equipment Chair. Extra rope and twine. I did a review on this guy too. This is my little lantern. Super lightweight lantern. Love that. Check that out under my gear and gadgets. This is a illumination Noma lights for the tent. That was a gift. Thought I'd bring that along. Nature hike sleeping pad. This thing is fantastic and it's super small, super lightweight, super affordable. And here is my sleeping bag. Look how small that little guy is. Incredibly lightweight packs down really nice in the, in the stuff bag. Uh, here's my uh, Teton or Teton camp pillow. That's beauty. And the sandstorm. Well, we have our beers. <laughs> and a couple of ginger ales. Coffee, geez, I forgot all about that. Look at how much stuff I got in here. Got some extra pegs, camera gear. Oh, field notes. First five items on my shop list, pack list. Mini cooler, kokanee, 
fake and view on this but I'll just let just share this with you guys real quickly right now if you want to see hear more about it you can uh, check out my playlist um, I like that my keys are buckled they're not going anywhere and this guy here you can peel that off and take that but uh, some of the things you know it's got a great little spot for your pen um, then you, you put your registration in here and maps and that kind of stuff and then uh, and then in here I just store got my little uh, you know multi-purpose knife that has everything including a super small flashlight that cracks me up mm, got a bigger flashlight here I'm all about flashlights some sunscreen and matches earplugs so yeah you got a little partition here oh there's my knife did a review on this this thing is amazing nice hollow point knife by Ruger check that out or check that review under gears and gadgets and uh, yeah tunes like, they really thought this bag out oh oh I know what I want to share with you guys well oh, there's your map pocket that's removable so Durastan, please explain to me why you put that on there right but then you got this little flappy dangle hanging off like what's the point of that so then when you lean up against it you feel that right I end up going like this to keep it away but then the wind hits that if I'm you know booking and then it wants to start coming off right um, I think Enduristan will say well that's to keep the water out but why not just make why not just cut that off and just put a little zipper on you know and make it nice and clean so you've got a nice cable spot that comes up comes out of here and then back into there and then back into there and get you inside this little area so if you've got a GPS and you just or an iPad or something or even a phone everything's all tucked away neatly so they've thought that through nicely so we just put a little little pump and toe strap tail bag we're carrying all of our stove fuel and a first aid kit oh, food what else we got in here more cooking stuff that's a heat diffuser and accessories bag I also did a review on this <laughs> it just organizes all of your cables not very organized right now because I just kind of ransacked it geez we got all the bags all peeled out here and uh, as you can see we got a ton of gear into all of these bags uh, just a quick overview so the medium enduro stand is 32 liters the large uh, tornado enduro stand is 51 liters the small uh, base pack uh, fender 6.5 panties in the blizzards are 17 the front fender pack is 1.6 the Sandstorm 4H is seven. I think I've got everything there. Yeah, yeah. So that's a total, if I got my math right, that's 115 liters of storage. And I didn't even talk to you about the accessories kit. <laughs> or the, uh, the tool pack. So I think if you combine those, we're at 100, let's call it 116 liters of storage on the bike. And that should accommodate you for a good, geez, I mean, you could probably make that work for three or four days. I think that's enough luggage. Is it a thumbs up, thumbs down? Well, it's obviously a thumbs up. Uh, it's, it's past the, it's past all my grueling tests. It's water, they're waterproof, they're affordable, um, they're durable, they look fantastic. Um, they don't look so fantastic when they're uh, not loaded up, but uh, they're functional, they're super utilitarian, they carry extra fuel, um, they carry a ton of gear, um, they're smart with their, all their routing and hooks and I mean, I've gone along, uh, this video is going to be super long, but <laughs> 
I hope it's been helpful. Um, I don't think I've missed anything. If I have missed anything, just let me know. Uh, if you've lasted this long for the, in this video, <laughs> that's off to you. <laughs> uh, but I know when I was looking for uh, some luggage, I spent a ton of time researching it because it can get really expensive. I hope that's been helpful, guys. If uh, you guys have any any questions, don't, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, drop a comment in the uh, comment section and uh, yeah, I'll be sure to get back to you. Look at that. Woo, this is gonna taste good. Good old Sapporo Premium. This is a pretty tough setup. Even got myself a little coffee table here. Look at that. Somewhere to put my feet up. Oh yeah.